It's Hoshizaki time. They say that it's not making very much ice. I would have to agree with that. So when I walked up on it, it uh, it's running, but it's not making ice. Oh, mine. Oh. Oh, shit, those are hot, man. That's why we ain't got no condenser fan motor. It's time to go up onto the roof. I know it's got safeties, but I'm gonna shut it off anyways. I know that fan's not running. We got a remote condenser for this thing up top. Uh, I'm not sure what year that is, but we can figure it out. So this is what the building looks like, right there. This is where I'm at, kind of like in this corner right here. I believe that that one right there in the middle of the screen is going to be the remote condenser. All right, and up here we are, my favorite place to be on a on a rainy day, huh? All right, there it is. Told you, told you that was them. There's three of them actually, because we got three machines down there. Well, I know that it's not this one because. The fans on mine aren't running. And see, this one's blowing cold, which explains why that left unit up there ain't working worth the flip. So this is gonna be my condenser, I bet. Yeah, and it's still warm too. There's no contactor, there's no controls in here. Just a couple capacitors. What is that? Is that, okay, that's nothing, all right. Just wanted to make sure nothing was oozing out my capacitor. Those are capacitors right there. Funny looking capacitors, huh? So that should mean that I've got no voltage here, the way this is wired. And so I've got a contactor or a controller down at the Hoshizaki downstairs that sends power up through here. So I should have no power here. All right, let's see. Power. Mm. No power. Now, even though I've got no power, for some reason, these motors are hot. See that? Look at that. Look at that. Yes. That means that they are hot. First things first, check the capacitors. Let's see here. One of y'all can see that. The reading that is. Maybe. Maybe not. There, now you can see it. Oh, okay. So. Now that one ain't good. That one's testing at eight microfarads. That one's tested eight point six. That ain't much better. All right, yeah, these caps aren't no good, man. 10 microfarad capacitors. Well, let's put a couple of new capacitors on it and see what happens. Well, this is the best I got for capacitors, so we'll give it a shot. All right, I got those attached, but I just want to make sure they're good capacitors first. That one says 10. It's close enough. All right, I got them ready for me to go down there and turn this back on. And these motors here, they pull rated 1.2 amps each, so I should not see more than 2.4 amps uh, going through these lines on the amp meter when I go check up uh, down there. And I feel confident enough about 
the idea that this is going to work so much that I'm willing to tape them up and put the panels back on this unit. That way, I save myself a trip all the way back up here. So I'm going to tape these up because, well, they don't, they don't go in there the way the other ones did. So they're going to be kind of loose. They might be potentially moving around in there and can't have them shorting out, you know? I mean, so I'm going to insulate them just like so. I figure I'd speed things up for you a bit. Damn, look at that. It's terrible. It's bullshit. What kind of fucker did that? What kind of technician we got working on this stuff, man? God, same thing there, man. What kind of shit is that? Damn. No, 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 no. <laughs> Almost fucked up there. All right, well, there we go. I'll put back together. I'm going to turn this on. Go down there, turn the unit on, and measure my amp draws and see if it's normal and see if that line don't overheat. If both of that occurs, like I just said, we're done. All right, so I have powered it on. Over here, Over here, I get a higher measurement that looks like I'm overamping, but that's because this motor right there is pulling off that circuit too. Come over here. Look at that. 2.4. That's twice 1.2. That's perfect. Those motors are maxed now, but that's okay because they're not overamping. I mean, that's pretty damn close, but I'm, I don't think that's going to justify saying... Hey, we need new motors. And now the compressor has started and we're going to monitor. Okay, this is discharge. This is liquid. And we want this thing to start making ice too. That's got to happen. Watch how much more this one drops than the other one does because that other one's running like crap. This one's like, hopefully by the way it looks, it's going to be in a lot better shape than this one. It's going to drop like two times or three times the amount that this one is. Let's see, so you see how much, how fast that one's dropping. Let's see, maybe we can measure it. Dang, y'all, look at the layer of scale they have on the bottom of their machine. That's gross, that's terrible. About to start going. Once this stuff gets on a roll, man, it's like it goes. Pretty awesome. All right, so while I fill my invoice out, I got these going like that. Let's see what happens.
See which one I can fill up first. And there we have it, y'all. This one's just about full. This one is still slacking. So that's going to do it for this one. Just a little quick video. Figured. Brings back memories. Worked on these. Ah, so many years I worked on these damn things. I know all about them. This was easy. Anyways, thanks for watching.